when we're looking at <clears throat> um, risk the decision analysis, the first thing we have to keep in uh, mind is risk avoidance. Uh, we assume that the pl players are trying to avoid risk. You know, play it safe, so to speak. You're, you're playing with your company's money, you want to make sure you make the right investment, you don't want to take any unnecessary chances. So with that, the two players um, have different strategies. The maximizer, which is Andy, uh, tries the maxi-min strategy, and the minimizer, which is Bruce, tries the mini-max um, approach. So first we're going to go over uh, Andy, the maximizer. He's going to do two things. He's going to identify the, the minimums for each strategy, and then he's going to select the maximum of those. So his first strategy is strategy one. So he's going to identify the minimum of this strategy, which is 15. Then he's going to look at uh, strategy two. He's going to identify the minimum, which is 12. Then he's going to look at strategy three, and he's going to identify the minimum, which is two. So from his minimums, then he's going to select the maximum, which is 15. So what he did for the mini max is he selected the minimum and chose the maximum. And that's what we mean by mini max. I'm sorry, maxi min. Now our minimizer, Bruce, will follow a similar uh, pattern. He's going to use the mini max uh, theorem here. So he looks at his three, uh, three strategic options, and each one um, he identifies the maximum. So he looks at strategy A, 2, 12, or 15, 15 is the greatest, so that's the maximum. He looks at strategy B, he has 25, 14, and 4. Obviously that's 25. Then he looks at strategy 3, 35, 16, 6, and we have 35. So he's identified the maximum for each strategy. Now from those three he selected, he selects the minimum. So once again, you can see we have a pure strategy because both Andy and Bruce will always select strategy one or strategy A.